Are you happy or upset with Elon Musk? I can't tell from your tweets. It seems like one day you're okay, the next day you think he's might might be his attention might be diverted. Well, this is one heck of a turn of events. Elon Musk's Twitter has previously engaged in the removal of political posts and the limitation of certain political activist posts on Twitter through two means. One, removal of content uh, or potential suspensions of certain accounts, or number two, visibility filtering, like search bans or depromoting certain posts. These are things that we learn through the Twitter files, which were released under the direction of Elon Musk, uh, Musk and promoted by Elon Musk, right? We've, we've all heard over this, or all of this over the last few weeks. Uh, yeah, Twitter had a history of censoring stuff, especially when there were political connections involved. Well, today, we have a turn of events. Elon Musk has censored someone he said he would not censor, or at least so it appears. Let me explain. And after I explain, I'm going to provide a little bit of insight into the impl or possible implications into this. Keep in mind today is the 14th, which is also the expiration of the extension for the coupon code for especially that zero to millionaire real estate investing course. It's going to be a big deal for next year. Start your studying now during the holidays. And of course, stocks and psychology money, elite hustlers, and the other programs. Check that out. Link down below. Email us for a bundle at kevin at meetkevin.com if you have bundle inquiries and you don't see a bundle that's a perfect fit for you on the website. Link down below. Okay, so there is this creator named Jack Sweeney. Jack Sweeney runs an account on Twitter called Elon's Jet. And basically what he's done is he's created a software that automatically tweets Elon's Jet location, takeoff, destination, land, uh, times, fuel burn, whatever. Uh, and uh, this is frequently public information. Uh, if you have, for example, the tail number of a plane, you could throw it into a website like FlightAware. Uh, I, I think you can track some flights for free, some you have to pay for, but whatever. You could actually track flights uh, pretty much any flight you want online. Uh, there are some flights that get masked, and it's a little harder to track those, although some say you could just pay a certain fee, and then you might be able to track them. I'm not completely aware of all of the details of this, but we do know that Jack Sweeney's account, Elon Jet, amassed about 500,000 followers just about last week. And then right after amassing about 500,000 followers, the account mysteriously started not showing up in searches. Things got a little bit more tricky since then. And what is also interesting is this is all happening around the one year anniversary of Elon Musk having first sent a DM to Jack Sweeney about a year ago asking to remove the account Elon Jet and to stop basically tracking Elon's Jet. Elon reportedly offered Jack Sweeney $5,000 to stop tracking the Jet. Now, uh, at one point, I even suggested like, hey, I want to contribute. If, if Elon wants that privacy, like, I want to contribute. But Elon came out and said something, uh, well, he said the following. He said, uh, and he's reiterated this in the past as well, as well as recently. My commitment to free speech, ex well, we'll pull up the actual full tweet here. There we go. My commitment to free speech extends even to not banning the account following my plane, even though that is a direct personal safety risk. This is something he's tweeted November 6, 2022, so just about a month ago. But he's previously made statements like this, that basically he's resigned to the fact that his jet is going to get tracked on Twitter. And he's been okay with it. So this is sort of what everybody ended up seeing as, okay, that's Elon Musk putting his actions where his mouth is. He says he's for free speech, so now he's allowing free speech. And that's also where I said, you know what, hey, if Elon's going to go all full free speech, okay, well then obviously, you know, it's not like anybody needs to get together and try to help Elon. I mean, Elon has got plenty of money. He can help himself. I'm not trying to come across as saying that I, I uh, you know, need to help Elon, right? I'm just trying to make it clear that at one point uh, I had suggested helping, but uh, Elon was a big fan of free speech and and uh, that, that made that unnecessary because Elon's like, ah, don't worry about it. Well, what's interesting is Jack Sweeney, then found out after hitting 500,000 followers on the account Elon Jet, for which he was very grateful, found out that he was getting search banned, and then he ended up getting a leak. 
Uh, so what's interesting is you can see here, uh, you know, sort of searches of people looking for uh, Elon Jet on Twitter, but not actually being able to find the account. It just doesn't show up. That's what a search ban is. But what's very interesting, and CNBC is highlighting this, CNBC quoted these tweets here from Jack Sweeney just a few days ago. Internal messages obtained by an anonymous Twitter employee explained to me that on, quote, December 2nd, 2022, your account at Elon Jet was visibility limited slash restricted to a severe degree internally. And here is a screenshot that he received showing the following. Look at this when we blow this up right here. Ella Irwin, team, please apply heavy visibility filtering to at Elon Jet immediately. Yikes, this is exactly the kind of stuff that in the Twitter files, everybody was outraged about. But now here it's being used, apparently, to apply to Elon Musk's private jet. Okay, I mean, maybe, maybe, there's, maybe there's a reason here. Now, just two days ago, Jack Sweeney tweeted that it appears Elon Jet is no longer banned or hidden in any way. I think Twitter noticed my tweets and backtracked. Guilty in my book, showing here that a search ban no longer exists on his account. But now, all of a sudden, what happened this morning? Yep, here it is. The account Elon Jet apparently has been permanently banned for breaking Twitter rules. And if we jump on into Twitter here and just type in uh, Elon Jet, let's see what happens. Uh, well, it certainly doesn't show up in search. So if I just type at Elon Jet, uh, I get nothing. Let's see if I can click on somebody who tags Elon Jet. Account suspended. There it is for violating the rules. Now, when you pop open the rules, and, and maybe this is a loophole, but when you pop open the rules, what do you get? Well, there is a segment under rules that does say private information. Quote, you may not publish or post other people's private information, such as home phone number, address, whatever, without their express authorization and permission. We also prohibit threatening to expose private information or incentivizing others to do so. So the flip side argument here is that technically flight tracking is not private information. So, Elon, What's it gonna be? Is it going to be the free speech that uh, you had been promoting, even though it potentially risks personal safety? Is it reasonable for Elon Musk to ban someone tracking his private jet? Uh, does that mean other people who have private jets can appeal to Twitter to have their private jets not tracked on Twitter? Now, Taylor Swift gets tracked. I think uh, some folks were telling me that, uh, and I haven't verified this, but that uh, Taylor Swift might have had the most emissions for her for private jet usage in the last year. Who knows? These are all things, obviously, we could probably Google and find out, but it's not so important to the moral of this. The moral of this video is, and, and this is probably the takeaway, is that on one hand, Elon Musk has this tendency of strong absolutes standing for free speech within the confines of the law, uh, standing for, for righteousness about, you know, how wonderful Tesla stock is and how it's going to be worth more than Apple and Saudi Aramco potentially in the future. But then on the flip side, when the free speech is inconvenient, limiting that free speech, even though the information isn't private, uh, unless there's some kind of argument we can make that it somehow is, even though it's technically not, and selling... $20 billion worth of Tesla stock right after pumping that up. I think the biggest takeaway out of all of this, no matter w whether it's right or wrong, is that these are the things that, in my opinion, hurt Elon Musk's credibility and reputation. So I went on Charles Payne's show, and um, I, I specifically made reference to Elon selling stock, and this is what I had to say. Are you happy or upset with Elon Musk? I can't tell from your tweets. It seems like one day you're okay, the next day you think he's might might be his attention might be diverted. Yeah, Elon's a little bit of a shyster. <laughs> okay, I love him. He makes up 20% of my fund, and we're really excited for next year. But the thing with Elon is, what bothers me the most is he goes into an earnings call, talks about how Tesla's going to be worth more than Saudi Aramco and Apple combined, then dumps $20 billion worth of shares on us right after that. So right. something, look, I love the guy. I think he's got great intentions. And Tesla and the workers are Tesla. Great people, great company. It's going places. I got 30 seconds. You're here tomorrow to ring the bell. 4 p.m. close, we'll do a meetup at 5 p.m. 
Oh, congratulations, man. You have done so much. 1.8 million YouTube viewers. People love you. People look up to you. Now look, I believe in Tesla long term. I believe in the Tesla crew and team. But this Twitter nonsense is just getting worse and worse and worse. And it's just going to lead to more advertisers leaving, which means a greater likelihood that Elon has to sell to support a money losing business. He's not selling Twitter. He's selling Tesla stock. So that does create a potential short-term buying opportunity if you believe in the long-term fundamentals, but in the short term, it's quite painful. So I think I've been very, very clear, although some people in the comments don't seem to pay attention to that. They think, oh my gosh, Kevin all of a sudden is flip-flopping on Tesla. I, I, don't, I don't even know if it's worth responding to this nonsense. I, I think I'm very clear in every video I make, like long-term bullish, short-term bearish. Even tweeted that for the people who have uh, an attention problem. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you for making it to the end of the video. You rock. Thanks so much. Let me know what you think in the comments down below, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.